Hi, and welcome to this session that is based on a lot of confusion sometimes uh, when it comes to B1 dashboards. So many people do, uh, think that B1 dashboard is only for MSSQL, uh, and because they have the Fury cockpit, uh, it's not really needed uh, the, the B1 dashboards. And uh, it's of course your choice, but it is possible to switch away from Fury Cockpit and instead use B1 dashboards on SAP HANA. So uh, let me show you the steps to do that. So here I have my uh, SAP 10 uh, running Fury Cockpit. And in order to do this, you need to turn off Fury Cockpit because if we go here and look at B1 usability package, which I have connected here. Let's go in here. We do see that I have dashboards enabled, but we are not seeing them, of course. And uh, there is other ways to use them uh, as windows and so on, but what if you want them as the real cockpit? So we need to go to Administration, System Monetization, General Settings. And in here, there's the cockpit, and in here we say None. If we do that, we can do it for all users, uh, but that's uh, of course up to you what you want to do, but I'm doing it for all users here. And while we wait, disclaimer, this is a, only a, a little test system, so it's not fairly quick, but uh, we will get there. So now we have turned Fury Cockpit off. We can't really see it because it happens only when we stop Subbusiness 1 and start it again. So let's start up business one. And immediately you can see that business one looks a bit different and that's because it has switched away from the Fury cockpit and the Fury skin. Unfortunately, you can't choose the Fury skin without the cockpit. There's a SAP idea place where a lot of people have voted for being able to do to mix and match without the Fury cockpit, but still keep the old skin. So if you want this, uh, the the new skin, uh, you can't really do this. Of course, that could be one of the deal breakers in this. But if you're okay with another style, this is the style that was before the Fury cockpit. then you are able to put in the dashboard. So this is how it looks. It's all a matter of opinion what looks uh, most pretty. Some people like one skin, some people like the other. But unfortunately in here, as you can see, SAP simply don't allow us to choose that skin. They have others, but not the one that is uh, linked to the Fury Cockpit. Hope that will change, but for now, if you want to do this and have a fully switch, you need to accept this uh, skin. And if we then start our product, you can see the Fury cockpit is of course gone. So now there's room for the SAP uh, or the B1 UP cockpit. So let's have it start up. And because it detects that we don't have Fury Cockpit anymore, again, slow system, but it's coming along, it will find that, okay, we are allowed to have our Fury Cockpit with all the data and including BS, if you have that in the, your data system and so on. So if we look at the sales dashboard, They come up with all the common functions, open items list and everything you need. And of course, with all the great abilities to have our uh, really nice designer that really makes it uh, 
unique compared to the Fury cockpit. So again, you need to accept another skin if you want them in the background. Again, if you don't like this, you can of course always switch back. So it's not like you are stuck with your choice. You can always switch back to Fury cockpit again. I tend to stay here because I like the B1 dashboards better. They have more capabilities than SAPs in my mind, but of course it's your choice. But now there's no, no reason to think that you are not uh, able to do it, but it requires the old skin. So thank you for attending. Hope it was beneficial.